So I want to introduce our product today. I worked as a UX designer in New York City for Alpha Media, and while I was visiting family in South Korea, I had the opportunity to find a developer who wanted to work with me on an idea that I had for a long time. And this was the, this was the start of what was a crazy two months in developing, me designing, and my friend developing a full web app. And now I'm going to introduce it to you today. So before I even start, I kind of want to introduce what, to you what UX design is. And a lot of people might be confused as to why it's useful and why UX is becoming more important today. And UX design is basically rooted in psychology and ergonomics. And it's based on making apps and websites and digital products simple for your average person. And if you ever had a bad experience with an app or a mobile app or a site, and you're like, why is the button here? Like, why is the browser the way it is? Then you might have understood the importance of UX. And basically, the UX market has become more and more greater as VR has come into play, as AR has come into play. And there are more uses for UX more than ever today. But where is it used? Well, it's used mainly in product design, and it's also used in web design, and it's also used in mobile design. So in these three areas, UX is used the most. And it's all important in these areas, because let's say you had a chair that was uncomfortable, that's also user experience, because you have to sit in a chair and make sure that it's a comfortable experience. So I kind of want to introduce what the, what the pain point was and why I decided to build this product. Before I started working as a UX designer, I actually had the opportunity to go through the UX interview process in the States, and it was a lot different than the way it is in Korea. After you submit a resume, you actually have a phone interview, then an in-person interview, and then they call you in for a final interview called the whiteboard challenge. And what the whiteboard challenge is, is basically they give you a board and all the interviewers and senior UX professionals are watching you. And they give you 20 minutes to solve a challenge. It's, it could be design a new parking lot app, for example, design an interface for people who have difficulty reading. And they want to see your logic, your creativity, and how, how well you can perform in a short time frame. And this was something that no one could actually prepare for effectively because there was no platform in which you could get feedback from or share ideas. When I was preparing for this challenge, I was using pencil and paper, I was using like markers, I had a whiteboard at home, but I had to reach out to people online. I went to meetup events, I had to message people on LinkedIn and ask them, hey, like, is this the kind of challenge that will be in an interview? Am I doing it the right way? And also, every time I did it on pencil and paper, it was super unorganized, it was messy and I, I would lose the papers and I could never review my work. And so when I faced my first whiteboard challenge interview, I failed. When I was at the interview, I got nervous, 10 minutes, five minutes, three minutes, zero minutes, and then I was done. And they were very, very critical with how I designed my interface. So the solution to this is why not build a cloud-based interactive UX design platform which you can share, you can comment, you can get feedback from designers all around the world. And we purposely did it not on an app, but on a web app, so that anybody can access on a mobile phone or a tablet, or even on your browser late at night. This is our product itself. It's, a, it's available on all platforms. It works. It's built on the same frame for, framework that Facebook and Instagram uses, so that it's real time and it's live. And you don't have to wait for any delays. It took us two months of every day just iterations and working on bugs and making sure that it worked. So now we, we currently have the ability to test our platform online, actually do the whiteboard challenge, but also upload photos and videos so you're, you're prepared for the whiteboard challenge. So what is it exactly? So let's go into the specifics. So if you see over here, you can see that we actually built the Paint API so that you can actually write text you can make the text bigger. It's like basically Photoshop in a web browser. And you can pick different colors and actually simulate a whiteboard challenge in real time on a web browser or on your tablet. It's also responsive, so you can see it on your tablet or your phone. And depending on your screen, it will automatically adjust. And it's also an educational tool, because not only can you upload your design problems or exercises that you've solved, but you have 20 minutes to solve it if you have to, after you press start, and then random ch challenges generate. So based on the challenge above that you see, you can draw it out on the bottom. If you need more space, you can press the plus button, and then save the contents and share it with people all over the world. These are testimonials from people actually in my network 
Um, these are full stack designers, senior user experience designers. And I think the most important thing about my platform is that anybody can use it from people who just started learning about UX, but people also can be mentors and help people who are, you know, starting out in UX. So I, because programmers have Stack Overflow, Photo photographers have Flickr, graphic designers have Dribble and Behance. How come UX designers and product designers don't have their own platform? I thought that it'd be great to design a new platform just for us. And then all the people who online, who are UX designers in my network, were very interested. As you can see from testimonials, they would love to be a mentor, even senior user experience, experience professionals who don't really have a use for questions. They already have no UX like the back of their hand, but they want to give feedback and help people in the community and help people like Paul Evanesian, who's a UX apprentice, become a better UX designer. So our business model is is B2C and B2B. And what I mean by that is that we have a yearly fee, just like uh, after you graduate Korea University, that you have a lifetime fee that you pay so that you are a member of, of the Alumni Association. It's kind of like that. We're going to offer a, a very short, very small value subscription based on a yearly basis. And also we're going to offer mentorship so that you can book appointments with these guys if you're a beginner designer over Skype for one hour, and we'll take a small commission from that. And all the designers will actively act as mentors because they want to not only make extra income, but also contribute to the designer community and show off their own knowledge. And also we want to put in a job board so that usually in the States we have, it's $99 for 30, 30 days, 30 to 90 days. And then these will be opportunities for young fledging designers to find their first internships or jobs. And also we have ads in partnership with tablet companies, Wacom tablet, um, Amazon Carbon, just targeted ads, not just random ads, but ads that actually help designers. And the, the top three countries that we're looking to target is, the, is Canada, the UK, and the United States, because these are all three countries that take the whiteboard challenge very seriously based on our interviews and take and with our showed interest in the product based on surveys. So the market value, a lot of you might be curious about what the market value is. For the USA, it was a billion. For the UK, it was 139 million. For Canada, it was 59 million. And in total, it was 1 billion, 198 million. This is just based on the entry level salaries. So these are all, that's all the money pool that can be used towards UX education in general. And the revenue model calculated turned out to be 1.2 million based on the USA, the Canada, the UK, and, the, and American UX entry level designers. We, we did a survey and we saw that about 55,092 people would actually use the product at entry level and then we would take about $45 hourly. That's the fee that mentors after interviewing them said, that's a fair price. And then we would, and after more surveys from people who kind of want to use our platform, they said they would use it at least three times to prepare for interviews. So based on that and a 10% commission and the $10, year yearly, $10 yearly fee I talked about, it turned out to be that in terms of revenue model. And then this is our milestones and timeline. So basically we launched our product already. We've been fixing bugs every day. Um, this, pro this weekend we plan on promoting it heavily online in all our platforms. I'm part of a LinkedIn group network. Um, I have you know, UX designers in my network who want to promote on Twitter. They're always asking me every day, you know, did you launch, did you launch? And I'm like, I need to fix these bugs first before launching. So we, we're going to look at ads and partnerships later on in June and mid-July, implementing the mentor appointment system so that UX designers can book appointments with mentors online, and that would be on a needs basis. And then we would have a job board for UX jobs that early stage designers to professionals can apply to. And then we're going to also develop a tablet application for people who want to use it on a tablet mainly. And not only has people overseas shown interest, but people in Samsung and Korean conglomerates have shown interest because they're realizing that the importance of UX is greater than ever today. And the importance of UX is that a lot of products in Korea actually don't really take UX seriously, according to interviews I had with corporations here. And they want to implement UX, the UX whiteboard challenge in their own interview processes. And they showed interest in developing UX in Korea so that the, the, the level of Korean UI is very high, but then the UX and the UI can work together to create very great products. 
currently I, I designed and f mapped the process of the whole product myself and act as a project manager and work closely with my developer who is currently at WeCode as a developer. And if you have any questions, just you can visit our website at uscreate.io. It's currently live. We're testing before we have our uh, official marketing this weekend. And if you have any questions, please email me at hello at uscreate.io. Thank you very much.